Well, good morning all you lovely people. Welcome back to the grumpy old get in the corner on a Wednesday that looks like it could be quite a nice day the way the sun's rising out there. Well, yeah, very disappointing yesterday. Um, it does look like the winter fuel payments for hundreds of thousands of pensioners is gone out the window thanks to this corrupt government that we've got in. Now, this doesn't just fill me with anger. This gives me a feeling of a bit of uh, deja vu, to be honest. You know, think about it. That's both of the two biggest political parties in this country over the past few years have condemned some of their own people to death. Yeah, by their very actions, they've condemned them to die. And not one of them has batted a fucking eyelid about doing it. And nobody's holding them accountable for doing it. As we've seen with the Tories and what they did during the pandemic. Sorry, my eyes are a bit sore this morning. Um, remember when the uh, Tories sent the old home? knowing they would die. Even then, just like now, they were warned they were going to die. I wonder how many Labour supporters are going to lose loved ones over this decision. <laughs> how they voted for a party based on a whole pack of fucking lies. How are you feeling now, knowing that you could lose loved ones simply because you put an X on a bit of fucking paper? Now, if I didn't know any better, I would be believing that I'm seeing a master plan at work here. You know, surely two different parties would both do away with the old and brainwash the young. Nah, that's really just a conspiracy theory, isn't it? You know, <laughs> it's a bit like um, it's being orchestrated by the WEF or a group like that. I mean, that's probably taking it a bit far again, isn't it? Well... I wonder how much this is going to cost us because these people that are making these decisions now they're going to be wanting extra security and they'll demand it because they won't feel safe if they leave the swamp that is Westminster they won't feel safe in public with what they're doing to the public <laughs> now you know it's got me thinking now what this silly bitch the Chancellor has got in store for us um, with the budget in uh, when was it October I wonder if that will have anything to do with the uh, conspiracy theories about the CDBS the central digital banking system you know to rob and control us using our own money you know, just saying, after all, that is on the uh, WEF agenda, isn't it? But yeah, th this government now is an absolute fucking disgrace. But um, I know what everybody's going to be thinking about what happened yesterday, but... <sighs> no, and now after these thieving assholes. They still get their full expenses to pay their own fuel bills, heating bills, second homes. You know, all robbed from the taxpayer while they're doing this. And they get their daily parliamentary attendance that is usually more per day than a pensioner gets in a week. You know, that's all coming out of the pot. 
but now we've got some more quite an expense coming out of the pot um, <laughs> they've been letting out these prisoners early now most of these guys would end up in hostels if they've got nowhere to go which a lot of them won't have guess what they're being put up and paid for in hotels yep just like the channel paddlers while our pensioners are going to suffer and freeze and have a choice between heat and heat these criminals along with the channel paddlers are going to be sat there in their nice warm hotel rooms getting their you know meals cooked for them each day now the government have lied to us again they knew this was the plan all along yet they said they were reserving and paying for out of taxpayers money 5,000 hotel rooms reason for the channel paddlers preempting how many are coming across do you believe that now is it a coincidence that they plan to release 5,000 prisoners and they reserved 5,000 hotel rooms I don't believe them for a fucking minute not at all so that's just another lie and another cover up from them you know the, the old saying is correct isn't it when a politician's got their mouth open they're more than likely lying well we tried to warn people we tried to tell people that this shit was going to happen and what was going to come in down but still it happened and as I say hope you Labour supporters suffer as much as every other fucker in this country because it's that little cross you put on that bit of paper that caused this and those of you that didn't vote you're as much a part of that picture as those that did just like the ones that abstained from voting yesterday in Parliament you're cowards absolute fucking cowards right I'm going to leave it there for today folks because I'll only get wound up again and I can actually feel my blood pressure going up because this has all really really annoyed me it's made me actual physically angry you know but we'll have a bit of a discussion on it on the live tonight um, don't forget censors will be prevalent so you know keep it respectful keep it clean and we'll get on just fine but until then as always guys stay safe stay strong don't let these fuckers get to you respects